big Love you small Love you every way and all the ways I love you so All lined up in a great big road And reach from here to the moon To the big rock cookie bottom of my heart From here to the moon To the big rock cookie bottom of my heart The Unicorn and the Turtle by Dr. Dib There once was a unicorn named Norsinu. She lived in a beautiful forest that was in an eternal state of summer. One day, she went a little too far past the boundaries of the forest and ended up by the ocean. Remembering her time splashing around in the pond in her forest, she jumped right into the ocean, only to fall down into the dark depths. Having never learned to swim, she couldn't get up. She passed out for a few hours. When she came to, Norsinu was in a giant dark cave. She attempted to run away, but realized she wouldn't know how to leave. She let out a yelp, and a small shadow in the background turned towards her and came over. One step, two steps, three steps, four steps, five steps. It took seven days for the shadow to come over to the unicorn, but luckily neither needed food as the cave was made out of cotton candy. As it came closer, it became larger until the fifth day when Norsino was able to make out the figure of a giant turtle. She screamed for a few hours, but her voice got tired and she went back to eating cotton candy. When the giant turtle came closer, he begged the unicorn for a kiss. When Norsino refused, the giant turtle gave her a strangely colored carrot. Norsino gave no second thought to the strange color as she quickly realized that she really needed her vegetables. After eating the vegetables, she became strangely attracted to the giant turtle. The turtle introduced himself as Tinog and said that he was all lonely in the cave and needed a companion. Norsino agreed and they lived happily ever after. That was until two years later when the unicorn fighting squad broke into the cave and attempted to rescue Norsino. They got into a giant battle with Tinog, who was aided by his children, the hybrid unicorn turtles. They easily outmatched the unicorn fighting squad, and everybody lived happily ever after. That was until Tinog died, Norsino learned that she was under a spell the whole time, and the children found out that they could not have children of their own due to their strange genetic disorder. Now, what is the moral of the story? Well, it's simple. If you see somebody taking their sweet time to come towards you, you can at least attempt to escape. You might as well try, or you could end up like that unicorn. The end. Hey, listen here, tube dude. Turn off that damn TV when it's not in use. How can I turn it off if it's not in use? Hey, don't get wise with me, Johnny. If you don't start reducing your carbon emissions now, then in a few years we won't have any carbon emissions to worry about now, will we? That doesn't make any sense. Well, maybe not to you, Joy Boy, but when your dog suddenly can't fit into his shoes anymore, well then don't come crying to me. <laughs> Starting with one idea, how many other ideas can you get? It's infinite, isn't it? Like if I say stump, and you say, and then someone else says, it's never going to be the same, is it? Anyway, today's assignment, I'm going to draw a mark, and I'm going to upload the picture onto rockcookiebottom.com, and you're going to download that picture, and then draw something extrapolating from that mark. And everybody's is going to be different, and it's going to be glorious and amazing. First we have sad-looking bald man from Joel Robeck. Good work. The next two are also by Joel Robeck. You got um, the angry pianist. I think he might be angry because his piano is so small. Uh, if you look at the piano-to-man ratio. Uh, and he might also be a little pissed off at his cap. Unless he's Jewish, in which case he has this, like, yarmulke with this, like, little tassel coming off. I like him, though. I like this angry pianist. He's, he's cool. And the banana, of course, the banana in the, uh, in the mailbox. I won't talk about what this reminds me of. 
suffice to say, it involved poop and uh, my old gym teacher. Uh, this one is by The Mad Artist. Um, there's a, a, a guy with a clown nose who's really quite shocked to see that there's a ghost that that's kind of show, shown up. Um, clown shoes and a clown nose. And he's shocked. Shocked. OMG. Shocked. To see the ghost. Uh, this is by Benjamin Spitznagel. I hope I said that right. Spitznagel. Spitznagel. This one, yeah, it's it's really, I really love it. It's very cartoony. And I kind of, is that a woman? I kind of think it's a woman. She looks like she has, she has breasts. So maybe that's, um, maybe it's like Joan of Arc or something. I can, I can, I can get down with that. Uh, next up we have Dave79, who sent this in very late, but that's fine. You can send in assignments anytime, any, absolutely anytime you want. It's up to you. It's a sock puppet monster. I can dig it. I mean, it's the kind of, you know, sock puppet monster that I'd want to make, so that's good. Uh, next up, another one from Oxyborb. Uh, we have Let Me Let Me Upgrade Ya. I'm not sure what that's from. I don't know if that's from anything in particular. You can see the mark is there in his, in his sigh, his thing. Death coming to get you. Uh, another one from the Mad Artist. If you recall, it looks a little bit like the, the ghost guy. I love it. I love this one a lot. It's very, very desolate, very kind of dreamy and lonely. Uh, worm poking his head up out of the ground there. And uh, another one from Oxyborb. This one, a painting. Uh, much more a- abstract, kind of octopus-like. So really good work, everybody. Great job. The red glow was unmistakable. It shined of a familiar incandescence and possessed that wondrous luminescence. And there I saw, sitting in awe, the gleaming which roared from the door was just a nightlight fighting the darkness. this week's show. I guess I'll see you in next week's show. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you do a lot of assignments. Because the more assignments you do, the more likely it is that I'll put you in the show. And remember, you can always do any of the assignments anytime that you want. You don't have to do the assignments for that day. You can do any assignment anytime. So that's it for me. I'll see you next week. Thanks.